gaze through my eye for a vision of Midgard, the realm of mortals, in all its splendor and chaos. Ooh, he's a dramatic man, isn't he? Hello everyone, my name's James. This is God of War on your mobile phone. Actually, it's my iPad on a carpet. Wait, no, it's not. It's the world of God of War. I'm so confused already. This is God of War Mir Mir's Vision, which is, for all intents and purposes, an interactive map. I am covering this because I know that there will be a bunch of people who will see God of War on the App Store and be like, oh my god, this is amazing, download it, what, 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 what? And uh, this is what this is here to explain. A turtle, it's a pretty turtle, look at him. So it's an AR app. If you have an AR compatible phone, then you can stand up, point it at a table or a floor or an object and boom, the map appears. What I've just done there is press a button, bring it up icons and I can zoom in on the icons. Give him a wee tap. Legend tells of a giant stonemason who fell here. There you go, a little bit of backstory about Tharma's corpse. It's an interactive glossary. You can check out the locations in the new God of War game. You can find out little bits of information regarding the different areas and the different characters and landmarks you encountered. I can pinch to zoom, just like with Google Maps, only it's invisible and not real. You can get right down close, right in amongst all the landscapes and whatnot, which is quite nice and novel, but it's nothing beyond that. It's not a game, it's just a map. So uh, that's it, really. Don't download it expecting anything in the way of gameplay. You're just going to be able to find out a little bit more about the God of War world by wandering around your lounge, pointing a thing at a table. There it is. God of War, Mimi's Vision. Thanks for watching.